This is the Creality Ender 3 V3 SE, the most popular budget 3D printer. I've had this for about six months now, so it's time for review and a few upgrades. Starting off with the review, this thing has been amazing. I've done this light bar already, which has been great. And really, I've only had one problem. That's this really loud hot end fan. Like, it's not normal. The other thing I want to replace today is the printing bed because as I've learned to print with this thing, I haven't been very gentle with it. And well, it's time for a new one. I also got a couple upgrades that will help my peace of mind while I'm 3D printing. All right, first up is the printing bed, which looks like it did get a bit of a hard time during shipping, but I think it'll be fine. It's just a metal printing bed and it looks great. This is a big difference. Next up, we have a little fan. The old fan, as you heard, makes a lot of strange noises. So we have a new one. Okay, this one is gonna be nice to have. They gave me a new filament holder because we need this little screw, I believe. So basically, from what I know, filament runs through here. There's filament, then good. If there's no filament, then not good. It pauses the print for me. That way, I don't have any prints that get halfway done and run out of filament, which would be nice. And lastly, this is the digital spool rack. And this weighs the filament to give you a good idea of how much you have left so that you know that you'll have enough filament for your next print. So we got some hardware, another one of these. So hopefully I can still use this one, which came with a runout sensor. Oh, it's taller, wow. Then we got the piece itself it doesn't look brand new, but oh, it's alive. This rolls super smoothly though. Oh, there's also a charger in there. I don't think it needs to be plugged in all the time, does it? No, because it's on. Duh, I'm so stupid. Okay, this is the piece that came with the filament runout sensor. And so hopefully it still works. Yeah, okay. Oh, I, okay, it's not, I'll fix that. We'll fix it later. First up, we are doing the filament detector, the runout sensor, because this is the only thing where we have to take the 3D printer apart and plug it into the motherboard. So we started by taking the bottom of the printer apart. Okay, can't lay it down too far. But we came across one big problem. The instructions told us to plug the runout sensor into a port that only had three pins, but the runout sensor had four pins, but only three of them were being used. So we cut the fourth one that wasn't being used completely off. Sometimes in order to fix things, you gotta break things. Let's see how this works before we <laughs> say that. So with our fingers crossed, we put the printer back together just enough to test it out. This thing straight up. We also took this time to put the new digital spool rack on. We got a minus 890, guys. <laughs> Look at that. Hey. 824 out of 1000, right? Yes. All right. So how'd the test go? Well, it didn't work. So we took it apart and we reevaluated. Okay, Jay, you want to explain what we just did? We made no. Uh, so we basically, uh, even though the directions said to plug it into here, we're supposed to plug it in up here, but we already cut the connector. So we're going to hope that since there's only three wires here, like plug in. Well, yeah, it's not like there's a wire in the other piece of the connector, a little empty spot. I don't know. It's just so weird. We followed the instructions. We did follow the instructions. Besides cutting the connector, but we plugged it into the port that it's the instruction said. Yep. To plug it so into. the one time that we followed the instructions, it bit us in the butt. Never gonna do it That's ever again. That's a good again. life lesson, yeah. Let's just not follow instructions <laughs> ever. Yep. All, All right. right. After looking it up online, we found that other people have had the same difficulties. So Creality really needs to fix their instructions. Oh, there's the, the light. Blue light. <laughs> there it is. That makes sense. All right, should we cut the cut the line? We're cutting the line. Let's do it. Okay. Oh. Oh. Tips, filaments are running out. Please reload. Let's go. Oh. All right. 
We got a working runout sensor. There we go. Not bad. Yeah. And we did the new printing bed. This is the hardest one for sure. This oh is goodness. the hardest one. This is so daunting. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was so hard. I'm going to go take a nap. And the nice quiet fan. Gotta disconnect it. Except there's hot glue holding it in place. Let's see if we can cut it. Not the connector, the hot glue. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get this out of here. There we go. Hey. There's the old fan. Not bad. I don't see any difference between these two. There's literally, yeah. Nothing. I I don't understand why the other one was such a problem. Okay, all done. Just like that, the printer is done. <laughs> Let's test this thing out. Hold on a second. Before we test this out, we got one more thing. While working on this video, AJ got me a 3D printer enclosure for my birthday, but it's way bigger than we expected it to be, so I'm not gonna be using it quite yet. This thing is so big, me and my cat can fit inside of it. That's crazy. And funny enough, it's the exact same height as my desk. I understand that they make these enclosures to fit a majority of printers, but there's a lot of extra space. Just look how neatly the printer fits here. Call me crazy, but this just seems a bit extreme. I think Creality could have made one a bit smaller than this. And don't get me wrong, I think this is a great gift from AJ. I wanted an enclosure. I don't want this turd messing with my prints. But this is the smallest one Creality had, so I'm gonna have to do some rearranging to figure out a new spot for my printer. So have these modifications been worth it? I think so. The bed is finally how it should be. The fan is finally how it should be. I've never had to use the runout sensor yet, but that's because the digital spool rack lets me know exactly how much filament I have left. So before I start printing, I know that that spool has enough filament for the print. Lastly, this wouldn't be a we made that video if we didn't do something with the go-karts. So I printed some tire valve stem caps that you can use on anything with Schrader valves, including your car. I'm not going to, but it'll be interesting to see if they work on the go-karts. Will they work? I don't know, I guess you'll have to subscribe to find out.